March 28, 2025. Guys, we just had one of the larger solar blasts so far, if not the largest of 2025. It turned, uh, they're measuring it as an X 1.1. Now that is uh, kind of misleading because when one is not directly Earth facing, it's not showing the full energy on the satellites that are between the Earth and the Sun. That would have probably been a much more powerful flare. This is a still shot of it there. Again, you're looking at it to, from Earth facing perspectives. Just happens some of the satellites are not picking it up. They're not showing a CME yet. And because uh, it's not that important because it is not Earth facing, but that area is turning our way again quick video here is the NOAA x-ray flux chart notice in your right that uh, spike on the GOES uh, 18 which is the goal line is an X 1.1 flare so things are heating back up now can't help but think of what we're seeing the images coming out of the pyramids also Another quake, 6.6 .6 Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We had a, a 6.1, almost the same exact spot yesterday. And the um, aftershocks over in the Miramar area are increasing. There's been a lot of them both north and south of that zone. But here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge right in a turn. And all of this is really connected. When you look at it, Mid-Atlantic Ridge goes north, comes through the Mediterranean. But let's look over here. Now, in Burma, you've got uh, your 6.1s. Here's your 7.7. .7. A lot of people missing. There's a big blood drive going on, guys, there. If you are anywhere close enough to help with that, please do. Because uh, with you saw the destruction. Bridges are gone. Buildings are gone. And there's going to be a lot of people trapped. We're going to have a lot of people that uh, are are going to leave but notice this fault that goes through the mediterranean into the mid-atlantic ridge right there it goes through jerusalem we talk about many times where our father sets or when christ sets his foot down on the mount of olives how it will split you're looking at how it's going to done i'm going to be done let me back it out just a little and it'll give you an idea of where the exact fault lines are are excuse me but they're running north and south here but the some smaller ones now these are streets but when i back this out you see that red line right there guys that's running north and south right through the dead sea see that in the sea of galilee that is the one that's going to split everything there's faults that move left and right too that are smaller but this one's connected all the way from the um quakes that we're seeing miramar and burma area right through new delhi through the appalachian chain and uh, all the way around the planet basically before it's all said and done it's fairly quiet over on the west coast as far as quakes are happening that's a good thing right now but that sunspot that we saw blast off the left side of the sun that's would be called the east wing is turning towards us now that could be important because that was a very very strong flare going back to the pyramids a moment a lot of things are coming together a lot of things are being exposed at this time from political crimes to natural events we've seen it all last year with the greening of the deserts things like that we're also seeing now that satellites are picking up more and more information from under the pyramids now the sun is seem seems like it's waking up will they somehow interact because the technology that we're seeing there, guys, and if you go and, and read more and more about this thing, which I've done, I've got a lot of information I haven't shared yet. Some of you have read part of it, but you'll see how advanced that technology was and really how related to the Emerald Tablets and the Halls of Amenti. They're related to basically a lot of our Bible, including Moses. But... uh I've got that information. It's already in a PDF form. I've just got to present it. Right now, I just want to let you know, it looks like the intensity of this solar wind that's coming in on us, giving us a lot of physical problems, is going to continue for a little bit, and it may increase as these, that sunspot comes around. That would be what uh, would be a very deadly blow to our system 
if that had been earth facing. So we always have to thank our Father in heaven for that hand over us of protection. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.